In Creo Parametric 10.0, you now have the ability to generate parameters and a whole note automatically for simple holes. This makes simple holes more like standard holes in previous versions of the software. To show you this, I'm going to start off in Creo Parametric 9.0 to show you the old behavior. Here I am in a part model. Let me click on the hole command and I get the ribbon to open up. Let me now start off by locating my hole. I'm just going to use the coaxial placement method. Let's make these dimensions a little bit smaller. Change that and then let's change this depth value. So there you can see the hole that is being created. If I go to the properties tab, well, you basically have a field where you can change the name of the feature, but that's all. And if I go to the standard option, now you can see all the parameters that are generated automatically in the feature. And there is a note tab that shows you a note that can be automatically generated for this feature. So let me hit the check mark. There you can see the note. And so that's what you get for standard holes in Creo Parametric 9.0 and earlier, but you don't get the parameters and the whole note for simple holes. Here I am in Creo Parametric 10.0 with the same model. Let's go to create a hole in this part and I'll locate it using the same method as before. Let's change the same dimension values. Let's use 0.25 and then for the depth, I'm going to use a small value so you can see the bottom of the hole. Now, if I go to the properties tab, you can see that there's an option here for add parameters. Also, you'll notice that there is a note panel available for me already. You have the ability to add a note if you want. Let me go to the properties tab. When I added the note, it automatically added the parameters. Let me uncheck that tells you, hey, the whole note cannot be created without whole parameters. It's going to end up removing the whole note. I will say yes initially. And again, right now there is no note generated, but let's start off on the properties tab. Let's add the parameters. You can see that we have three parameters in this situation, one for the whole type, one for the drill depth, and one for the drill diameter. Once again, let's go to notes. And I will choose to add a note. You can see the formatting of the note. And I'll talk about how you can control the format in a moment. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete the feature in the model. There you can see the note that is automatically generated. Okay, let me go to my model tree. And I'm going to right click on the whole feature to show you that you have parameters here. You can see those same three parameters that we saw in the dashboard for the whole feature. Let me cancel out of here. And if I go to the annotate tab, you can see that there are no annotations in here. Like before, you can change that whole note into an actual 3D annotation. Let me start off by making sure that I've got a good annotation plane that I can use. Let me turn on my plane display and I will create a new one. Let's use a reference plane front. I just happen to know in this particular model, it is not oriented correctly. That's how I want my annotation plane. And then let me close out of here. It's my active annotation. Let me turn off my datum display. And now I can select this note and then add it to my current state. And when I add it to the current state, well, there you can see what the note looks like. Let me drag it up here so that you can see it. All right, so let's talk about what controls the formatting for this note. First off, there are a couple new .hol files that are provided to you. If you go to your load point for Creo Parametric, in this particular situation, I have it in C, Program Files, PTC, Creo 10.0. Then within common files, text, and then hole, we now have a simple drilled hole and a simple flat .hol file. Let's take a look at what those files look like. Here I am in Notepad and I have the simple flat .hol file opened up. You can see that we have the different standards depending on the drill depths that you have. And then here is the formatting for the whole notes. 
So you can change these .hol files if you want a different format for the whole notes than what you see in here.